Hi, I'm Vandana from the Urban Valley Network. A lot of us are not gifted with great amount of sunlight. We have balconies that are covered by a tree or another building that's opposite or you know um, anything that makes the light get diffused to come into, into, into your garden spaces. I'm standing here in the garden at our building and between these top two blocks there's a small patch that doesn't have a lot of light coming in. So obviously we've had to go ahead and plant a lot of shade loving plants. Now I have been talking about shade loving plants for a long time. You all know that shade loving plants are plants that have evolved to be able to grow well and thrive well in diffused light conditions. In the forest, these are the plants that are growing right on the bottom of the forest floor at the base of the stem and they know how to grow and survive very well in spite of not having that amount of sunlight. So one of the biggest strategies that these plants have is that they won't produce flowers because flowers are an expensive you know, process for the plant. So it wouldn't put too much of its resources into producing plants and they put more resources into producing leaves, sometimes very large leaves, so that they can gather as much light as they can and produce their food through photosynthesis. So we have a few plants out here that I'd like to talk about. So this plant is called Wandering Jew. Now, it is a plant that is not native, but it's extremely hardy and it will grow in the most difficult conditions. So, but the thing about the Wandering Jew is that it needs its own designated area because it multiplies so quickly through its wandering you know, stem and therefore one entire area dedicated to it is when it will grow very very well. But you can also use this plant a lot for climbing pots or you know uh, anywhere. Drooping plants need to be grown. It grows and roots wonderfully well. The next plant that we have here is called as Spatophyllum or as many people like to call it is a peace lily. We don't have uh, okay, now we do. We have a beautiful peace lily flower. Hazel. These are the kind of flowers, if any, that the shade plants would produce. They, um, you all must have seen, you know, either different tubers producing flowers. So this is a kind of flower that any of these shade plants would produce. Again, it is made in a way that is of least resource to the plant, but um, this is a maximum that you would get as flowers. So, Peace lily is a great plant to even have indoors because it's known to uh, take in the toxic air indoors and also purify indoor air. So, um, studied by NASA and known to have some amazing properties for growing a garden indoor or inside your house. The third plant, of course, you all know about the philodendron. This is one kind of philodendron. It's known to, um, you know, keep on to walls. So, as you can see here, there are some roots, the, the aerial roots that it's producing. So the plan is that this plant will keep on this wall and in no time cover the entire plant. So one thing to notice is that these leaves are very light green. So this again is a strategy for the plant to be able to not invest so much into the uh, pigment um, and therefore uh, be able to grow more and have more leaves rather than spend all of its resources into doing things the normal way. So here are some three important plants that you can easily grow indoors. If you want us to set up an indoor garden for you, get in touch with us at urbanmali.com or call us at 888 Urban Mali Network, your friendly neighborhood gardener is waiting for you.